my internet friends, it's me, Autumn. As you are most likely aware of, it's the start of a brand new school year. And with that comes new classes and new teachers and hopefully new friends if you aren't completely socially inept like I am sometimes. Whenever you start a science class, it's always good to go over what science actually is. And I know out there on the internet and in real life, there's a lot of people who don't actually know what science is. A good place to start is with the scientific method. And according to my textbook, a scientific method is a systematic approach used in scientific study, whether it is in chemistry, biology, physics, or another science. It is an organized process used by scientists to do research, and it provides a method for scientists to verify the work of others. Science also explains the way things are, and sometimes why things are the way they are. I recorded some footage of my teacher actually speaking about scientific law and scientific theory in class. Here's the clip. This is what I was telling you about before, um, the difference between a theory and a law. Make sure you know the difference between a theory and a law in science. In science, a theory is an attempt to explain why something occurs. However, a law in science just states what what is observed. It doesn't try to explain why. You can never prove a theory as being right or wrong. Um, we've had lots of different atomic theories throughout the years. Like we think this is why these atoms react the way they do. And then we'll develop some technology and we'll find out well, maybe that's true, maybe it's not. So these explanations can change over time. But things like scientific laws don't change. They remain the same all the time. You know, um, this law of gravity, scientific law of gravity, if I drop this pin, it's going to fall towards the center of the Earth. Down. Gravity is pulling it down. When you drop a pin, it doesn't fall up doesn't fall sideways, it just falls down. Every time. Why? The law of gravity doesn't tell you why. It just says it does. Every time. It falls towards the center. Every time. The great thing about science is that science and facts are true whether or not you actually want to believe them. Science and facts don't give a crap about what your personal opinions and philosophies are about the world around us. Science just tells us how they are and hopefully provides us with the answers of why some things are the way they are. Did you enjoy this video? Leave us a thumbs up and a comment below. Also, if you want to hear more, look out for part two. You can click on my hand or whatever it is, right around here, in order to go see that when it's uploaded. Also click here to see my most viewed videos. This is for the teachers, also on this topic. See you in the next video. Bye! Think about it. How do you know what you're teaching in a science classroom, in any classroom at all, in any subject? How do you know what you're teaching is true?